Right, welcome back. I'm so sorry. I do not know what's going on. The uh, internet is not happy at all and it keeps cutting me off. So come back, come back, everybody. Oh, goodness me. That's not what you want on, a, on your first workout for you guys. Sorry, guys. Come back, come back to see if it is something to do with my internet. Hopefully we can all reconnect. We had so many of us as well. Oh, I'm so sad. Welcome back to your 30 minutes supposedly workout this morning with dumbbells. Okay, you're all here. So you know, you are in dark on the video, really. But it turns itself off completely. My phone goes completely off, so I wasn't sure what was going on. Oh gosh. So it looks like it might be okay. All right, okay. Do you know what? I'm just gonna leave uh, the comments. It's working fine for us, see. Okay, all right, good job, okay. So sorry, but because my phone literally turns itself off, so I don't see you anymore. It might be something to do with my phone. Okay, so welcome back. <laughs> we have done already a set of lovely squats with bringing the weight above our shoulders. Let's carry on with another five, guys. Come with me, come with me, let's go. Good. So bring the weight on your shoulder, squat, bring the weight by your hips, squat, etc, etc, and keep going. Good, I know we've done this already, but my phone completely switched off, so I could not see you at all, and I thought there was something wrong with my internet. Here we go, and again, lovely. And one more, one more, just because. Fantastic. And let's lift, put one weight on the floor, Grab another weight on your chest right here. We're gonna to go to the side for lovely side lunges. Great work. Okay, so here you have to challenge yourself. You push your bottom back. Great, you bend your knee at the front and you go as low as you can, as much as your, uh, the ankle, your flexibility in your ankle allows you. This is just comes with practice. A fantastic exercise here for your inner thigh and your glute you will feel this so much brilliant keep going on that same side for me we got another two I don't have anyone to count with me so you're probably gonna do more than you're supposed to this is what happens when you have a PT never trust your PT because we get a chat and we forget to count okay on the other side now guys so Push nice and far away with that foot. Keep your feet facing forward. Good. Bend your knee at a good 90 degree angle, but push your bottom back. Very nice. Extra weight here. So we already have our body weight to, you know, bring down and bring up. But with extra resistance, this makes this exercise a lot more challenging. And also, you'll feel your core work as you're lifting that body up. You've got to use those abs to lift your body up. Well done, we're doing good. Let's do another two, shall we? And another one. Woo! Well done, right there, you did amazing. Okay, grab both weights again. We are going to move to sumo, so open those toes wider. Bring the weight in your hands like so. And as we're going down, we're going to tap the floor and then come back up right here. So there's a little bit of a bicep curl, bringing to the chest and then bringing to the floor the top of your dumbbell. Fantastic. Push those knees away from you towards the big toe. We got it. Good job. And keep the knees wide, okay? So try to stop them from coming forward. You don't want to do this, okay? You want to push them out. Nicely done. Good. And again. So as I said at the beginning of uh, my workout before disaster happened with the internet, this is very much a sample of a lift like a pro workout that we have on RWL. And as I said earlier on, lifting weight shouldn't be a fear for us women. In fact, we should be embracing it because it helps tremendously with our bone health, but also it helps toning our muscles 
building lean, beautiful muscles so that we feel stronger and fitter. Cool, one more guys. I'm sure we've done more than 12. And stop there. Good job, we're gonna let go of one again. Fantastic. So we're gonna go into forward lunges. We're gonna stay on the same side. So perhaps we wanna go into uh, the left first and the, therefore you're holding on to the dumbbell with the opposite hand. As you come down into a lunge, you're gonna lift your weight to shoulder height. So a lateral raise with just one hand, one side only. Okay, ready? Let's go. Big step forward, bring the weight up and then back. Keep going guys, my fun is doing exactly the same again, turning itself off. Good, so big lunge, stay steady, bring the arm up to shoulder height. Good. So you wanna be slightly forward as you come into that lunge. You wanna bring those knees to a good 90 degree angle. You're trying to not leave your forward knee to pass your toe. Good, and you keep going here into that one side, working hard on that one side, lifting the weight. And again, fantastic. Good, so you wanna hold on here with your abs, lift the weight as you're staying nice and low. Perfect, doing great on that one side. And again, hold on tight, those abs. Good, keep going for me. So come forward as much as you can. Come forward as much as you can. Go low as much as you can. Lift that weight up and come back. Brace your abs. Brace your abs. Good. Keep going. One more. One more on this side. Low and lift. And up again. Good job. Okay, we swap to the other side. So opposite hand to opposite foot coming forward. Big step forward. Big step forward. Come low and then bring the weight to shoulder height and keep going. Good job, keep going. Fantastic. And again, forward, lift. As you are low, steady, finding your balance, embracing your abs, lift the arm laterally to shoulder height. Good, stay nice and low, however, so that you feel your muscles really working here, resistance, resisting your whole body weight. Fantastic, and again, down, height, good, and lift back, push back with those feet, lift that weight up, and push back, good job, and again, down, lift up, and push back, good job, so think of form all of the time, think of form, you know, be mindful of your exercises, think of what muscles are working here, and how you can make them work even harder, good, Let's go for one more now, guys. And nice and low. Bang. And put the weight down. Good job, good job. All right. Let's grab a drink if you have one. Grab a drink. Hydrating. Just a little sip. Not too much. Otherwise, you might feel a little bit sickly. Brilliant. Okay, now we're going to bring the arms in front of us with the wrist facing each other, slight bend of the knee. We're gonna do what I call the rainbows. So we're gonna bring the arms up and then nice and slowly, they're coming back to the front of our thighs. You ready? Let's go. <sighs> Breathing is gonna be so important here, guys. <sighs> Breathe in as your weights come towards your thighs. <sighs> Breathe out as the weights go above your head. <sighs> You want a little bit of speed to go up. And then you want to go slow and resisting that weight. Brilliant. If you have a challenging weight here, this is going to be very tough. So I suggest you try one or two reps. Or drop down the weights right here to a different weight. Or just do it with that or any weight. You'll be absolutely fine. You will feel this. Good, resist it, resist it. Bring it up, bring it up. Nice and slow right here, good job. And again, perfect, inhale. Nice, brace your abs, that means that at all time, you should always think of just pulling your belly button towards your spine to make those abs work whilst you're exercising. Good, one more. 
Fantastic, good job guys, good job. All right, next exercise, we're gonna go into curtsy lunges. And as we come down, we come into a bicep curl and switch to the other side. Okay, alternate. Stay nice and low as you do it. Are you ready? Let's go. Try to keep your hips facing me and your chest upright. Always have your chest upright and proud. Proud, proud of who you are. Proud of doing this right now. Proud of saying no to the negative chatterbox in your head and going through it, even though you probably wanted that extra half hour in bed this morning. This is gonna set you up for the day and it will always set you up, no matter what happens. We never, never regret a workout. And again, good. Down, bring those biceps curls. Good, try not to sway too much your arms. So keep those elbows glued to your waistline so that you can feel this even more fantastic and again doing a great job you should start feeling the burn now and because we're doing compound movement our cardiovascular system is being challenged so bonus here we're making our system work a lot harder to do these exercises and that's what i love i love because it's effective it's quick and it's done one more, brilliant, right here, and good job, catch your breath if you are out of breath like I am, it's not easy to work out and talk at the same time, all right, we're going back to upper body a little bit, let's bring the arms up to a good 90 degree angle, keep those knees soft, and I want you to squeeze your buttocks together, now one stays here, one pumps, Let's go, good. So we got one arm resisting weight and one arm doing a lot of reps. I'm sure you're going to feel it very soon. Good, so this is nine, we're going to 12, remember? 10, 11, and 12. And now other side, oh yeah baby. Two, time on tension, three, you feel that arm now, four, really aching, five. Keep that good 90 degree angle, guys. Don't come here. Six, seven, eight, nine, 10. We're almost there, 11 and 12. Oh my goodness. Let's leave these weights on the floor for a second or two. Grab a drink, catch your breath. Let's add a little bit of cardio to it. I'm gonna do a drop squat. So feet together, drop squat, touch the floor, and then come back to the other side, okay? Just raising the heart rate even more than it already is. So feet together, are you ready? Let's go, pop it down. One, two, keep going. Three, and again. Four, keep going. Five, and again. Six, seven, eight. Good job, push that bottom down, nine. 10, and again, 11, last one, 12. Good work, guys. Okay, our next cardiovascular exercise is gonna be a high knee jog, okay? Let's bring those knees up, ready? Three, two, one, and let's go. Hoppity, 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 hop. Keep those feet flexed, so your toes are pointed towards the ceiling. You're nice and tall. Bring those knees up. To at least hip level. Good. Five, four, three, two, one. Fantastic. Catch your breath here. Grab a drink if you need to. Doing amazing. Well done, guys. Okay, we're gonna bring the mat into the room. I'm just gonna pop off the commenting now. Yes, I will be saving it so that you can see me on the floor. Fantastic. Okay, so we're going on the floor. We're going to grab one of these weights and we're going to place them at the back of our knee here. We're going to drop down to your elbows. We're going to point your toe and really squeeze that weight between your leg. Now, let's lift up. Now, most of us doing this exercise will do a lot of arching and rounding our spine. 
I want you to concentrate on pulling your belly button towards your spine so that your abs are braced, engaged. And then you are just doing this exercise with your glute. Okay, you'll feel it a lot more in that left cheek or right cheek, wherever you started. So think about making your abs really tight whilst you do this exercise. Good job. Keep breathing and pushing up. Nice job, nice job, you're doing great. And again, fantastic. You got two more for me? One more? Yes, well done. You should have felt this in your hamstring and your cheek, bum cheek. Okay, we're going for the other side. I'm coming to show you exactly how, what I mean on this side. Dropping down, squeezing, squeezing my abs in, and let's go. Lift it up, lift it up to the ceiling, but try to not arch your back as much as you can. So the more you're tightening your abs, the more you're gonna feel this in the cheek you're working on. Got it? Good job, keep going here. Bring it up, bring it up. Squeeze, squeeze that weight between your legs so it doesn't run away from you and keep your abs tight. Keep your abs tight so that you are really singling out the glute. Nothing else is going to work to make this movement. That's what we're trying to do. Tight your tummy in, tight your tummy in. Good for two more. One more. And relax it there. Well done, gang, that was amazing. Felt really good. Excellent. Okay, come with me. We're going low. We're going low on the floor, right here. Good job. Okay, so grab your weights with you. Go all the way down. And we're gonna work on our arms again. Right here, keep your back nice and flat to the mat right here. Okay, bring the weights to the side, elbows on the floor to start with, and then you're pumping up, but when you're coming back down, you don't touch the floor. Perfect. So, fast up, slow down. And I'm constantly pushing my spine into the floor. Good. And again, well done. Slow, fast. Doing a great job. And try to keep those wrists above your elbow, especially when you bend down, when you go down. Nice. Now guys, next one. We're coming up, but our wrists are gonna face each other and we're also bringing our knees up to tabletop. Now my knees are directly underneath my hips and I'm not letting my back arch. Push it down so your abs are working here. In this position, let's go down to the floor, but don't touch it, and then together again. So push down nice and slow, and then up. Good, slow, and then up. Fantastic. So with our knees in tabletop position, we're going to feel our abs working too. Holding on here, holding on to that spine on the mat. Keep going, good job. And again, nice. I call this one a free boob job for you. Working the chest and working our uh, biceps. This is lovely, lovely exercise. Keep going up. And last one, brilliant. Okay, feet back down on the ground. Relax if you need to. And then straight back into that move. Okay, two, uh, two movement in one here. A narrow press, so bring your elbows close to your waistline. Punch up. Then when you're up, bend the elbows and bring the weight by your ears and then come back up. So let's work on those lovely bingo wings. We don't want them. We don't want bingo wings. Nice and tight arms is what we like. But also working on the triceps is a very important little muscles to perform a press up. So practice on those. Get stronger triceps to do full press ups. Good job, keep going. Bend down, and then narrow press. Lovely, and again, and again. Good, 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 keep going. My screen is going dark again. Good, 
So here, up, skull crushers. Narrow press, up, skull crushers. Narrow press, up, skull crusher. One more time. Narrow, up, skull crusher, and down, and relax that weight as much as you can, just to the side without hurting yourself. Good, a little bit of abs now, and we will be done. Fantastic, so I want you yourself to, I want to put your elbows on the floor and place your hands just here underneath your lower back. Bring the knees to the chest and extend away, and keep going. So you're trying not to let your back arch as you do this, okay? So keep going. Fantastic. Push away. Keep your chest upright. Don't come here, okay? Don't come here. Push your chest up and control with your abs so that you don't arch your back. Good job. And again. Doing great. Keep that going for me. Keep that going. Nicely done and relax. Okay, let's go down to the floor completely. Bring your shoulders off the floor. Hold on to your head for support. Bring your knees to tabletop. Now go and tap one heel at a time on the floor whilst you're holding on to this lovely position, keeping your back flat to the mat. So concentrating on those abs to brace that position. Keep going, keep going. Good work. And again. So the higher your shoulders are off the floor, the more tension you're gonna put in your abs and working with the legs, you feel like you're working absolutely every single abdominals in your tummy. So I much prefer working with the legs for abs and planks. Good, stay there for me for another five, four, three, two, and one. Excellent, okay look, we're gonna put our feet into this position and our knees out. And we're going to lift up, upper body and lower body. Good job. So when you go down, you're trying not to arch your back again. Okay, so you're lifting upper body and lower body. But when you go down, you're still concentrating. Keep going, guys. Good job. And again. Nicely done. We're almost there. We're almost there. Good. For three, two, last one and relax there. Bring your knees to the chest for a little hug and a stretch. Good, we're gonna finish up with a little bit of a hollow body hold. So I want you to bring your knees up to tabletop, your shoulders off the floor, and your hands just hovering off the floor here. Stay with me with your, your shoulders off the floor as high as possible. Stay here, make it tight, tight here. Feel the, resist, the tightness of your abs, feel the burn. Good, keep going. Stay there, stay there, stay there, stay there, stay there. Don't move, don't move. Stay there, stay there, you can do it. You can do it. Hold on for another 10. Nine, eight, come on. Seven, six, five, ouch. Four, three, two, and one. Woo! Oh my gosh, that was a killer. Sweating, sweating, sweating. Oh, excellent work, guys. Excellent work. I've gone over my time because I always do. I chat too much. Just come up for a little bit of a, a stretch and then we can all start our day. Okay, so bring your, uh, your legs wide, your arms wide, and come and reach the opposite toe from one side to another. Fantastic. And again, and one more. Good job, and stop here. Right, we're gonna stand nice and tall right here, holding onto your knees. Bend down, curl your back, and arch your back in this position. Good, cat and camel standing is delicious. Keep going. Feel the spine stretch, very much needed. And last one. Good job, okay, come down to the floor, onto your knee. Sorry, I guess you don't see this, but my phone just keeps going dark and turning itself off. Okay, in this position, I want you to push your hips forward, tilt your pelvic in, and feel the stretch on the hip flexor right here. Really, really nice. One we should not avoid, neither. Good job. And stop, 
Excellent. All right, other side, guys. Other side. And come forward. Now tilt that pelvis forward as well. Up. Keep here. Feel the stretch into this hip flexor now. Fantastic. And relax. Come up. Okay, a little bit of hamstring. And then we are all done. So keep one leg in front of you. Push your bum back. Make sure that leg in front of you is straight. Toes facing the ceiling. Feel the stretch in the back of your leg. If you need to readjust to feel the stretch even more, do it. And let's switch to the other side. Oh God, it's so annoying, isn't it? I don't know what's wrong with my phone. I'm gonna to need to check. All right, other side, push your hip back. Keep that leg straight. Hold that stretch to where you have the most tension. Hold on to it, breathe into it. Try to keep that pain for a little bit. Yes. And relax there. Woo. Well, there we are. We are done. I'm sorry about all of this uh, tapping on the screen, but for some reason my phone completely turns itself off uh, as I'm doing a live, which is very annoying. I hope you enjoyed it. I absolutely loved it. Let's see. 200 calories in 36 minutes. It's not that bad. It. Do you see what I mean? This is what happens with weights. Weights are very much the most important thing you could ever do in your fitness journey. Plenty of those on RWL. Make sure you come and have a look at us. We have plenty of lives too. Different workouts. Diversity is key at RWL. And uh, yesterday, for example, we had a dance fit class and then a yoga class. So yeah, we absolutely love to keep you motivated and stay on track. Guys, have a fabulous day. Think positive and beautiful things will happen to you. Mwah! See you soon.